Dude, once once my health started going up, I started getting, I was doing big video after big video, and then we just did um, Roddy Rich the Box, which is the number one song in the world. The video has, I think, six, seven, almost 70 million views. You were able to do that. You were and able that to- That was three that. days. That, that was, was three, three days you shot that. And you, were you able to focus on, I mean, you, I, I can't imagine how much work that was. In well, three the crazier days. thing about it was the video first came about, um, I wrote the treatment idea December 9th. So I was still in symptoms December 9th, but I listened to the yep. record and I was like, boom. Then they didn't start talking about shooting it till around Christmas time. And my whole family was in town. I was like, all right, I know everybody's here. And they picked a shoot date for January 9th. Mm -hmm. And not only did they want to shoot that video, but they wanted to shoot three videos, three different videos back to back to back before he went on tour. And I was like, man, it was stressful for me at that time because it was three days and I had all my friends coming in who all paid to fly into California to go on a ski trip. And he had, I was like, the only way I could do is if I shoot these three videos back to back to back, which would be three overnights. Wow. And I was like, man. So I got three overnights going into my friends coming into town to me having to entertain and drive out four hours to Mammoth. And I was like, can my body handle this? This is going to be a gauntlet. We created the video. It was amazing. It came out it was super successful. And that singular video has now I just seen it's like a stock market climb it's like boom and like i said it, i just got offered to do a movie i got people trying to buy scripts for me and it just really going crazy and you have no symptoms and i have no symptoms the only thing i have in my life right now <laughs> no. is i got a, i got a coronavirus out here that, won't let me, <laughs> that literally put my whole life on pause but you know it's been nice because it's been allowing me to reset and just kind of gear up that i know i have all this stuff lined up i have everything the momentum is there it's just like okay, use this, however long this is gonna be to just kind of build up for that next stage. My ulcerative colitis journey began um, shortly after my 21st birthday. Um, I was a healthy kid, just, you know, partying, doing my thing, I was just 20, just turned 21. So it was like, you know, what else is a 21 year old doing, but just eating nonsense and everything. And then um, I remember my grandmother passed away and I want to say it was, I remember eating a big meal. Like we had the whole family over and we ate some like big Cajun crawfish meal. And then I started getting symptoms of just, you know, frequent urgency. I was like, man, my stomach's really jacked up these past couple of days. And then it kept going one way or another. And then I, I remember seeing blood and then, you know, that sparked a little concern in me like, wow, what the hell is going on? You know, by the time we got to see the gastro, She's like, look, uh, you know, she goes, you're too young to have anything really serious. She goes, I'm, I'm assuming that it's probably like, you know, IBS or IBD. Um, and we did a colonoscopy and I remember waking up after the thing and she's like, you have acute um, ulcerative colitis. Um, and she kind of just said, I'm prescribing you these two pills, which was something called the Alda. And she's like, you're just going to take two of these a day for the rest of your life. <laughs> I think I took them for about a month after I had that. And then I went, I would say I went like a year or maybe even two years, I think, without having a flare up. Yeah. And then went about living my life. Maybe another year went by and then all of a sudden, you know, it came back again. And I think I was on tour. Um, with my roommate actually uh, he's a musician and I was on tour and I, I was in Arizona and it hit and being on a tour bus where they don't let you use the bathroom if you got to go number two and I remember it just stressing me out yeah. <laughs> by the time I made it to LA my mom had mailed me some of my Lialda and I took the Lialda and it I think I had enough for about a week and it actually helped me get over it and then I think I never had Lialda again after that because my doctor wouldn't prescribe me anymore without going to see her. And so I started looking into more holistic approach. And it just kept declining from there where it just got worse and worse, more urgency where, you know, I was struggling to do my job and my job, you know, I'm a filmmaker. I shoot a lot of music videos, I'm on set. And it would be things like even just having to go scout a location before they even shoot. I'm like, man, I got to sit through an hour of traffic. I remember taking like, extra toilet paper and extra underwear with me because I'm like, man, I don't know, like LA traffic, you're on a highway, it's not the easiest place to get off and go to the bathroom. And I, yeah. That became more of a thing where I was stressing even getting to these things to even do my job. I was exhausted and I was going to the bathroom probably 12, 15 times a day. Uh, I would wake up exhausted and I was, I probably weighed like 125 pounds. I was having 12 to 15 bowel movements a day Lots of blood. 
I mean, sometimes it was just straight blood coming out where you're not even having a bowel movement. Mm -hmm. uh, mucus, heavy mucus, where that was just, you know, pretty consistent. So it wasn't until we linked up that I really started learning about taking approach of, hey man, let's, let's test out a bunch of different things and see what starts working and start building a model of your body because everybody's, I've always heard, oh, everybody's body's so different with this disease and, and everybody's gonna have different things at work. Um, but what made me feel better about linking up with you is just your success of so many different people over so many different ethnicities and just everything that, you know, you've been able to at least steer them in the right direction. So I was like, what do I have to lose? Let's start with, let's, let's kind of let people know also where, where are you right now? How many symptoms do you have right now? I have, I would say across the board, if we went down the line, I have zero blood, zero mucus. I have normal healthy stools one or twice a day. Mm -hmm. I have gas normal as if anybody else, if I eat something that's gassy, I'm out yeah. of gas. Um, I sleep like a baby. I don't wake up from it. I have zero urgency, no cramping. So across the board, I have no and, symptoms. And are, well, are you on any medications? I'm on zero medications. <laughs> it was helpful to train my mind with seeing like, oh, I can hang out in these situations without having to drink and yep. still have fun. Yep. And then it was like, okay, um, I'm eating how I'm supposed to be eating up until Thanksgiving day, you know? And then Thanksgiving day, I was like, okay, I'm gonna cheat a little bit, but had things like, you know, those uh, betaine strength, uh, digestive enzymes. And it was like, yep. okay, I take this. And it wasn't as harsh of a reaction. And then getting through that hurdle was just like, okay, look at my body handled it well. I think the biggest test I had recently was um, there was chicken wings and I had, and I had some chicken wings and I mean, they weren't like spicy chicken wings cause I don't really do spicy stuff anymore, but it was just like lemon pepper fried chicken wings. And I ate, I think I ate like 10 of them. And, <laughs> and you were okay. And I, and honestly, the, the biggest changeover is not that I didn't have diarrhea, I didn't have any symptoms, but I just didn't feel good. Yeah. You feel sluggish. You're just like, oh, my body's not feeling from this food. And it becomes more of like, I don't love it the way I used to love it. And that's the big thing. One of the big things with you is you have this, you have this growing career as a director and yeah. you've been growing that and doing that. And then all of a sudden this you see was inhibiting your ability to work on jobs, to fly out to jobs, to be able to pull a 12 hour shift on set. The stress of that was too hard. Do you feel confident now that you can take on the stress of your work and be okay? You're trying to create an original idea to thin air when you're at 10% of your brain power because yeah. you, you're going to the bathroom 20 times. It was like, man, I remember feeling like, how can I keep this up? And am I in the wrong profession? And I love what I do. And I was like, man, should I, should I have just done something else? But then I'm like, you know, you got to just kind of power through all this stuff. What yeah. would you say to anyone else who's considering using natural medicine, um, who can maybe relate with you where they got a heavy career and they're traveling and they're doing production or whatever. And they want, they're thinking, man, can natural medicine really work for me? What would you say to them about this program and about, and, and about CC lifestyle? And I mean, I think it absolutely can work for you. Um, I think it's one of those things you have to be willing to put in the work to receive the work. Cause I went into it thinking, oh, this is something I can just kind of do, but it's definitely going to make, it's like going to the gym. You gotta like, if you go to the gym and just stand in the gym, you're not going to get in shape. You actually have to get on the machine and, and do the workout. <laughs> if you don't have a strong mind. You have to kind of start building that first. And I was a little fortunate that I had a good mindset. It was just retooling it. Like you said, re restructuring how I was approaching it. Once I figured that out, it's made my whole approach to not just the health side of things, but even the business side of things. It's, 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 it's elevated everything. Don't hesitate. Whatever it takes, you can't put a price tag on health. Just, you know, like go into it with a positive mindset. And whether you're at day one of the journey or you're halfway through and you're still not seeing results, trust me, the success is just another day away. Don't give up.